As we go to for the first full season, let us remember that COVID-19 is still with us. Yes. According to Minister of Health and according to what we see in our hospitals, as if we are going in the sad wave. Nabanja took stock of her first six months as Prime Minister, saying that her directive to ministers to directly supervise government projects improved service delivery. I have been also to Mbarara Mitiana Bududa, I've been to Masaka, Katakui, Napak, Lukungiri, among others. And of course, we have had a number of interministerial uh, uh, meetings to handle issues that we find in those areas. And a number of them have been solved and the others are on along the way. She said government reached out to victims of natural disasters in various districts. We have been able to distribute relief items to the affected, to those affected by disasters. This has been one of the, of the areas where we have done very well with limited resources. Nabanja says budget cuts because of COVID-19 affected her work. The Prime Minister also revealed that Uganda and Kenyan governments have agreed to have factories that produce for export be inspected to assess the quality of commodities they produce in order to ease the tension over the ban of exports to either country. We shall allow the export of our products to Kenya as long as they meet the quality standards. Now, the Kenyan counterparts will definitely come to Uganda to inspect our factories of Mirik, as we also do the same in their, on their side. Then there are these um, tax barriers. So in order for us to deepen and widen the East African integration, we have agreed uh, to have those legislated. She told journalists she's planning for a bill to curtail the transportation of people from one district to another to participate in elections as a way to minimize electoral violence. Till the last day when they started defending in people from Kampala under, under guise of uh, vote protection. The fact is that must stop. Aaron Mukama, NTV.